I'm Star Permission Tango, time 1853 Zulu. Wind 340 at 10, zero, visibility 10, zero, sky condition scattered 3,400, scattered 4,100. Ceiling 5,500, broken temperature 232.16, altimeter 2963. Okay. Okay, here we go for the engine start. I hear the oil separator coming up. And spin, push in the detent. Push it to start position and wait for it to start. Temperature's coming up to about 500 C. Roll back a little bit and coming up again. Generator light should go out about now. And I've got a green engine okay and 50% and we are good to go. I'll just sit here for a minute, let it warm up. Okay, engine's warmed up for a couple of minutes and here we go. Run the throttle up till breakaway. Ease the throttle back, it actually should taxi at just about idle. It's going slightly uphill now. Wave at the guys. Okay, lining up on the runway. There we are, nice and straight. Coming up on the throttle. There's 70%. 80, 90%. There's full throttle. Airspeed's coming up, 49, 60, 70, 80, using the stick back, 88, 90, off boulder level, coming through 100, 110, 120, 130, and climbing out. 145 and making the turn out. Ease the throttle back just a little bit. Yeah, we're doing 150. Climbing 1500 feet a minute. Throttle back to 90%. And slow her down just a little, and we'll go ahead and pull the gear up. The uh, the new Sonics is going to have electric retracts, which will be really nice. The uh, the mechanical nose gear uh, linkage on this is definitely uh, a prototype uh, to be a little uh, a little difficult to operate at higher speeds. So I had to slow down a little bit to get it up. But uh, once we've got the electric retracts, uh, we won't have to worry about that. Just uh, flip one switch, and the gears up. Right now I'm cruising uh, about 120 miles per hour. I got the throttle back to uh, about 75%, which is really only about 50% uh, thrust. And um, actually we're climbing a little bit, uh, climbing through uh, 2,800 feet. Uh, gorgeous day out today, got some cumulus clouds up here and uh, just uh, enjoying cruising along the lake right now. It's been a while since I've flown this, uh, so I'm gonna do just a few little quick turns and uh, give a little demonstration of the snappy roll rate of this aircraft. Woohoo! Here we go. <laughs> and a little bank back to the right. And level her off. I'll pick the speed up just a little. He's in a little throttle. And we'll do a little uh, little wing over here. Up and over. And do one back to the right. Very light controls, uh, very snappy handling.
still got 20 gallons of fuel left. Uh, we're looking good. Had about 26 gallons when I took off, but I uh, had kind of a long taxi. And uh, unfortunately, the jet uses uh, you know a fair amount of fuel even during taxi. So the trick is to uh, you know try to uh, minimize the amount of time you spend on the ground, maximize the amount of time in the air. I'll do a little bit of a, a turn here, go take us back towards the airport, and uh, once again show off the uh, just the incredible roll rate of this little aircraft. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm doing about 170 miles per hour now. I'm going to bring the nose up and uh, do a little bit of a wing over. Here we go. Up. And over. And up and over to the right. Okay, I'm going to ease the throttle back and uh, we're going to begin to descent and uh, give tower a call and uh, we'll come in and do a, uh, do a couple of approaches. Okay, I'm going to bring this one in for a low approach, uh, practice for uh, air venture coming up. So uh, I've got the, uh, the RPM at about 75% and uh, we're stabilized at about 135 miles per hour. Okay. And once then, uh, we're on a short final now for the low approach. Speed's about 146 miles per hour. Coming up on the throttle. And we'll keep it up about uh, between 50 and 100 feet. Engine RPM's coming up. There's 180 miles an hour, 190, 195, and here we go for the turnout. Woohoo! Ah. Wave at John. And he's a throttle back a little bit. Uh, we're doing 170 right now. And tower uh, 141 Sierra X ray. Uh, we'd like to go ahead and enter downwind from here if that's okay. And this one will be a full stop. Okay, throttle's coming back. Gonna drop in a notch of flap. Get this thing slowed down. I like to come over the fence about 100 miles per hour. Uh, John does it a little slower, but uh, yeah, I like just a little bit of extra speed. Uh, if I have just a little bit of time for a float at the bottom, uh, this plane's pretty clean, but uh, yeah, it doesn't float too bad. Okay, flaps are at 30, and uh, there's a little bit more travel on the flap that I can use on final as, uh, as a glide path. Doesn't seem to affect the pitch too much or uh, uh, doesn't seem to drop out uh, when you release that. So uh, between 30 and 45 is kind of a good way to uh, modulate the approach. I'm down to 100 miles an hour now. That trimmer nose up just a hair. Nice stable approach is what you want with this aircraft. It is a jet, so uh, energy, uh, you don't swap energy really fast. So you don't really have the option of just cobbing the throttle and going around if she gets a little slow. Okay, looking good. Coming over the numbers. Just a shade under 100. And here we are, throttles at idle. Looking good, looking good. 
little bit of a crosswind here. Throttle back. A little more flap. Woo. Little gust right there at the end. Yeah, I'll bring her down here and uh, the uh, turn radius is tight enough I should be able to make a U-turn on the taxiway. Yeah, almost. Point her a little bit into the wind. And then the engine shut down is just as easy as the engine start up. Uh, basically, I just push the detent, pull the throttle back, engine shuts down. It'll go through about a two minute cool down all by itself and then, uh, and then turn off. So I don't want to kill the master just yet. But uh, what a fun little airplane, had a great flight. Um, back on the ground, weather's turning bad, so this is probably the only flight for today. But uh, hey, we're gonna do it again tomorrow.